I got this longer B1 40 watt laser and now my very first laser I had was a longer Ray 5 5 watt laser and it's been several years ago but the one thing I can remember about it was is the thing just worked and here's my brother-in-law here in the shop with me today and actually about a year or two ago a uh, year and a half ago I gave him that longer laser and then he loved it and used it and then he gave it to his daughter and she's been using it and so this uh that original longer laser has been passed down and has gotten so many people in my family hooked on lasers and we've all upgraded to bigger and more powerful lasers however i haven't had another longer laser now this is a 40 watt this is going to be the most powerful laser i have i've got a bunch of 20 watts and a 30 watt but i don't have any 40 watts so i'm really eager to see just what this laser is going to be able to do and I'm not going to waste your time with a whole bunch of just rigmarole. So let's get into testing this laser and seeing how it can actually perform. The first thing we're going to do is an engrave test. And now we're running 10 to 100 power and uh, like 100 to uh, 600 millimeters a second, which is 36,000 millimeters a minute. And you can see how this is indented, cut into the wood when I did an engraving. I blew this up big so, you know, you can really see it. And we're down to about 60% power at 600 millimeters a minute or 600 millimeters a second uh, before it is just a engrave on the wood without actually burning an uh, indent into the wood. I did some iodized aluminum here and I went from 300 to 600 and as you see at 600 millimeters a second this thing is still just putting out um, great cuts or great engraves at um, you know full speed there so then i uh, did some acrylic and i started down at the bottom doing the same thing 60 to 100 and even at 600 millimeters a second this thing was like cutting in uh, almost a millimeter thick or deep so i actually changed it from like 10 to 50 and re-ran it i uh didn't get a picture of the final results, but you can see right there at the top, even at the 10% uh, there at 600, this thing is putting out a great engrave. So I went ahead and started cutting this eighth inch and I was able to cut this at eight millimeters a second in one pass and at 14 millimeters a second at two passes and got some very smooth edges. The next thing we're going to do is some cut tests, and this is eighth inch underlayment material. I use this to make a lot of stuff out of, um, you know, it's a really good material. And as you can see here, I was running 22 millimeters a second, and this was cutting completely through. So this is some quarter inch birch, and I'll use this quarter inch birch to build things that I'm going to use as because it's got some structural integrity to it. And I'm still able to cut this at 13 millimeters a second, which is just uh, fabulous. And then it looks really good when you put some finish on it. Now this is half inch birch. And now when we're getting into half inch birch, we're talking about really making something substantial, but yet we're able to cut this with precision and it's just absolutely fabulous. I can still cut this at three millimeters a second. I wanted to really test this laser out and see what it can do since this thing is just super powerful. And what I did here is I took this board and I routed underneath it. That way the top would be at the same height where I could set my depth or my focus for the laser. And then I'm just running this at about a millimeter a second and you know each one of the as it goes further across the little pieces are about a millimeter and a half um, thicker i just took my router and just ran it up and you can see here how this thing is just ripping through from 16 millimeters all the way up to 24 millimeters which is just under three quarters of an inch up to about a one inch thick and that's just absolutely amazing this thing can cut wood this thick now, you know, you can just catch this wood on fire and burn it, and, you know, that's no good. You want something that's going to be very clean. You can see right here at this one-inch part, right at the very corner where it was coming off at, uh, it didn't quite, um, you know, detach, but that's also where it was sitting on the ground. So I find a lot of times if you have the whatever you're cutting up off of the bottom a little bit, it cuts a lot smoother and better. 
But a big thing that you notice about this is there's no soot. There's no charring coming off of my hand. This thing is cutting nice and clean. And I mean, there is nothing wrong with the edges of any of these little pieces. That's just crazy to cut wood that thick one pass and it to be that clear. So I went ahead and made up another one of these little blocks going from about one inch up to an inch and a quarter. And I put this thing running at the same speed, one millimeter a, a second, and it was able to just rip through this. And it is just absolutely amazing at how clean the cuts are. It, I mean, I would not be cutting material this thick normally with a laser unless I had something very specific that I was trying to get done. But the thing is, is if you did need to cut something um, very thick, you know, this laser can actually do it. But at the same time, it just goes to show you how much production you can put out with this machine. And even cutting up here to like 30 millimeters in one pass, the edges of all this is still uh, extremely clean. It's, uh, there's no charring. I'm not getting a bunch of, you know, charcoal on my hands. I mean, it is uh, absolutely amazing that this thing is able to cut this cleanly and leave such a clean edge. So we can see this thing can actually cut ridiculously thick, but how detailed is it? You see a lot of times I do the same image here, and as a reference, I was running this at 600 millimeters a second, which is at the full speed and still got very detailed results. And so you're not going to have any uh, problems with uh, putting words and, you know, pictures and stuff on the items that you're cutting. So where does this machine fall in? Now, you see, this is some uh, paper towel holders I cut out of some uh, half inch white oak, solid white oak. You know, these are things that you can sell on Etsy or whatever. And then really, you know, time is money. So this is a piece of walnut plywood. And I've got, I think it's uh, 20 um, Christmas ornaments here. And I mean, if you're selling these things for a dollar, two dollars a piece, you know, you've got to knock these things out. And you can't be sitting here spending five, ten minutes on cutting each one out. Well, I uh, set up on this is just because this little piece of uh, plywood I had uh, was, you know, the size. So I put 20 of them on here and it took 16 minutes to cut 20 of these out. So really, I could probably knock out, um, you know, 60 of these uh, within an hour on this one machine and, you know, could be doing other things while it's running. So if you're looking to make money, this machine is uh, something that can just cut ridiculously fast. And as you can see in here, it's cutting very detailed, very clean. So this would be a definite moneymaker machine or if you are just the type of person that are in, is impatient and don't want to wait all day to have something cut out, this machine is a workhorse. And that's what I'll say about this machine. It is a freaking workhorse and it will get the job done. Now, it doesn't have... Uh, a lot of the high-end uh, things that you're going to see on these multi-thousand dollar machines, it's going to, you know, be, you're going to have to put it together yourself, but that's a one-time deal. It's very light, so you can hang this on a wall, whereas if you get a CO2, now this thing is cutting like a CO2 laser would cut, um, but with the CO2 laser, you know, you can't be moving those around. This thing here, I can throw it on my workbench, cut out stuff one day and then I can throw it up on a nail on the wall and you know it only weighs a couple of pounds no problems whatsoever there now this laser module is super powerful cuts through anything it may not have some of the nicest sensors on it as some of the fancier ones but this thing is under a thousand dollars and I mean to get a machine this powerful for under a thousand dollars when just a couple years ago I paid over seventeen hundred dollars for a 20 watt machine it's just absolutely great and the uh, air integration is built into it everything about the machine is a workhorse now one of the flaws I did find with it is the flame sensor if you have this outside and literally without a lot of Sun I could just walk back and forth in front of the machine and uh, little changes in the light, I guess. I couldn't even see the shadow on it, but it would set off the alarm. 
So if you go into your console and do uh, dollar sign equals uh, or 45, dollar sign 45 equals zero, that turns off the flame sensor. And there's a video on Longer's website uh, about how to do that because I guess they have a lot of issues with this flame sensor being too sensitive. Also, uh, I did get the uh, display for it. And if it was running and the display is uh, magnetic mounted, if I would snap that back on, just that little bit of movement would cause the uh, laser to get the motion sensor alarm uh, set off. Um, now, this was on just a folding plastic table, and I was moving all around, and it never set off that motion alarm, so it's not overly sensitive, but something about that uh, magnetic uh, box, you know, I guess it's right next to where that sensor is, uh, snapping on and off uh, did cause a few issues. But other than that, again, if you're just looking for something to get the job done, um, you know, you're just wanting a workhorse, this is the machine for you. Um, you know, there, it, it, you know, you're, you're, it's a, a trade off. So you can spend twice as much on a machine, and yes, it may function just a little bit better, a little bit easier, uh, but it's probably going to run slower and it's not going to be able to produce. So if you're looking to set up a little small business uh, doing laser cutting products, you know, I don't think that you can really go wrong with this machine. So uh, if I can find a, a discount or something, I'll put it in the description. It may or may not be there, so check down in the description. And until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful day.